What is going on, guys? Opulent Vision, Road to Sub 20, episode 18. I'm not going to lie, guys. This episode was atrocious. I haven't filmed one of these episodes for maybe two or three weeks now. I've just been in the middle of moving, been on a couple business trips, so I haven't had a chance to practice either. And this is the first episode of like getting back into the series. So forgive me for having atrocious solves. But as I always like on this series, I just show my raw solves so I'm not cheating myself, not cheating you guys on YouTube. You can just see how I am doing this week. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get into the Q&A. And again, leave your questions for me about personal life, cubing, whatever, in the comments below, and I'll answer it sometime in the next few-ish episodes. First question today coming in from Drake Jane. He says, are you going to go to any Rubik's competitions in the future? And I think you should do it and make a vlog. There's one actually coming up maybe about two months from now in my area that I was considering going to, potentially wanting to see how many of you guys were going to go to. It is a cubing competition in Kansas City, Missouri. A little bit of a drive for me, but if any of you guys are going to that, let me know in the comments. And I'm just kind of curious at how many of my fans would show up there. Would I make it a vlog? Quite potentially, and speaking of vlogs, that reminds me, did you guys watch last Saturday's video? I kind of vlogged my day. It wasn't much, but I wanted to start a second YouTube channel, which is a vlog channel, which I will also link in the description of this if you guys wanted to check it out. So, should be pretty cool. If you guys like vlogs or care to see more about my day, go ahead and check out that channel in the description here. His second question, do you think you're going to do a series like this, but for two by two, four by four, or something like that? This has been something I've been thinking about for a while. Once I reach sub 20 officially, I was curious, should we do a road to sub 15 series? Should we switch the cube to two by two or four by four or any other WCA puzzle? Let me know in the comments because I'm actually really curious about what you guys are interested in. That Mo YouCuber says, what computer do you use in your Road to Sub 20 videos? So he's probably talking about the last computer I used, which is my uh, laptop. I think it's a Dell workstation. I know it's got like a RTX 2080 and an i7, I think in 32 gigabytes of uh, RAM. Unsure what the actual model of the computer is because I just saw it on sale and bought it quickly. I didn't really do too much research into it. That is that computer, and then the computer you see me using today um, is a, another Dell workstation. I think it's the R5780. I know it's got an NVIDIA P4000 processor, some kind of RTX equivalent to the uh, Core i9, and then I think it's got like 128 gigabytes of RAM. Pretty much a beast of a computer, but I use it for my work, so... I mean, it is pretty necessary. And if you guys are wondering why I'm in a different location, I ended up moving houses, uh, just finished the move, and now I can finally have my desktop out for these videos. So you guys get to see the times a little bit more clear, which is really nice. Abram7824 asks, just got a ghost cube recently and accidentally scrambled it. Do you have any tips on how to solve it? So the uh, ghost cube is actually a very, very difficult cube, but it is the exact same as a three by three Rubik's cube, also kind of an equivalent to the mirror cube. So I guess there's no real easy way to solve the ghost cube, but it's a lot of trial and error of putting a piece where you think it goes and then taking it out if it doesn't fit and repeating the process until you find the right piece. But again, you're just solving it like a normal three by three. So if you don't have any experience with any shape-shifting 3x3 puzzles, I recommend checking out the mirror cube. Uh, it should give you an idea of how those puzzles work and then can give you an idea of kind of how to solve the ghost cube. Rodrigo Exteria. I said that last time and he got mad at me in the comments for pronouncing it wrong, so I apologize. Please correct me. But he asks, will I do a road to sub 15 after I finish this series? And yes, again, in the comments, talk about what you wanna see, if we should do a road to sub 15, or if we should start working on another WCA puzzle. Should be pretty interesting. JD Cuber one asks, how do I grow my channel on YouTube? By the way, love the series. I appreciate it, man. Um, it depends on what kind of YouTube channel you have going. 
So if you're doing cubing, which I'm assuming you're probably doing if you're commenting this on a cubing video, a lot of cubers hate, 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 hate watching long form videos. So long form videos are really hard to get people to watch in the cubing world. Um, obviously you guys are watching one right now, so you probably like it, but the, the easiest way to grow a channel would be to do YouTube shorts and daily. I know when I started this channel, I was doing maybe six or seven shorts a day just to get my subscribers up, which definitely worked, but it was definitely stressful to do. Um, so again, YouTube shorts is the way to go and just make sure to actively engage with your audience. I respond to all my comments and I've got a lot of subscribers and a lot of comments, but I take my time to do that. And it's meaningful to people and they enjoy that and they subscribe and they watch more videos. So definitely, definitely be engaging on the channel. Cube Solve Solutions asks, how did you make your Ohio Cube? And the Ohio Cube, there's a ton of names for it on the channel, also known as the Pain Cube or the Pin Cube. Um, I honestly just went to Walmart, bought a ton of pins, and then just took some tacky glue and glued them to each piece. Um, it does take a lot of patience because you have to wait for the glue to dry before you switch sides. The pieces don't fall off. Um, here's the deal though, if you're gonna make one yourself, I do highly recommend not using tacky glue. I just bought some Gorilla Glue um, to glue the pieces down because all the pins kept falling off. So definitely recommend using something stronger than tacky glue, but also realize if you do do this, it probably will ruin your cube. Uh, not ruin in like a bad sense, but it'll never be the same again. You'll just always have to have the pins on it. So just keep that in mind um, with that. Next question from Luis Biera asks, can you review new or cool puzzles when you have time one day? I would absolutely be down. Um, I don't watch a lot of cubing YouTube, believe it or not. I just make videos, but here's the thing. I don't know what puzzles are cool or new or coming out or anything really. So if you guys do find any puzzles you want me to review, just comment that and I'll uh, order it probably like the same day, maybe have the review out within the next week. So if you guys see anything cool, let me know um, in the comments and I will definitely review it. Cube A Scristian, I think, asks, what is your best cube timing till now? Um, my best solve on a three by three was, I think it was 14.14 seconds. So pretty good, but it was a long time ago. So I haven't really topped that time since then. I kind of stagnated, which is really frustrating to me um, and unfortunate, but definitely, definitely working on getting my times that low again. Nepcube SCS asks, how can I take part of the latest giveaway brother? Um, go check the description. It has everything you need to know about the free entries, how to get more entries, how to be, um, I mean, there's like a top fan thing, which is based off of like watch hours, um, and likes and comments. I don't know how YouTube really decides that, but it displays a heart next to your name. So I know to give you the extra points. Um, but everything you need to know is in the description, um, of this video. So go ahead and check that out. Hi, Heya one I'm sorry, I know I butchered that name again. First asks, how old are you? I am 22 years old. Uh, two, how do you manage to fit bodybuilding, YouTubing, and cubing in your free time? That is a loaded question. I don't have a lot of free time anymore because I work so many hours at my job. That is another story, but I make sure to always wake up super, super early to get a quick workout in before my day begins. And I don't have much spare time to cube, um, but I do use my YouTubing time to cube. Um, and how I manage YouTube is I make two shorts per day, um, which gives me one for the next day and one to put in the bank for a rainy day, um, or if there's a week I'm gone on business. Um, and then I make three long form videos every single week on like a Saturday or Sunday. That way I can have my two per week, my road to sub 20, and then my fun video on Saturdays. And then that gives me one extra video for the bank. So I put maybe five or six hours into YouTube a week, but it gives me enough videos that if I wanna take a week off, I definitely can do that. So not bad. What you see me solving here, I think is the 
oh man, I always forget the name. I call it the windmill cube, but it's not the windmill cube. Um, it's a MoU shape shifting three by three, we'll call it that. And I am solving that today as my challenge. So enjoy the solve here. And I'm gonna get to the last couple questions that we have time for. Boat Xbox asks, will you do a tutorial on OLL after you've learned it? Um, I am nowhere near learning full OLL, but the day that I do finish learning it, I'll let you guys know. And if you guys are interested in a, in a uh, tutorial on that, I would absolutely be down to make one. Final question here, Pat the Great 10, how do I become a member? Because it's not working for me. It might just be my side issue. Um, to become a member of the channel, it is 99 cents a month, but you get a big shout out at the end of all of my videos. Um, so not a bad deal. Now, how to become a member, you have to go on your desktop, go to my channel and then click join and it should let you join the channel membership. So not bad, but that is all the questions we had time for today. So I appreciate you guys for watching and we'll see you in the next one. Peace.